what's up guys welcome back to the channel this is rabbit and more my name is modin an aspiring farmer um and i'm also bringing you content basically to document my journey now uh, let me take off this thing so that you guys can see my face well so um as part of documenting my journey today i'm bringing you an excerpt from another rabbit farm and this is the farmer right here um he's gonna tell us his name the name of his company and all that but there are two interesting things out this video is in two folds this very first one is about his rabbit farm how he manages it the benefits of rabbit farming some of the experiences he has to share encouragement he can give you out there to also start it if you're willing to start a farm now my story is very simple i love rabbitry i want to start it i'm going this year i bought three i decided to start something he builds cages someone connected me to him so i came here to see him and then I want to take my rabbitry to another level but he's at a level where i'm like whoa i wish i can be there but we'll get into it right now so you see how he has the whole place looking and all that plus he makes amazing rabbit cages which i believe you didn't know it was even done in ghana right here we'll talk about that and he'll go into why he does it the way he does it the sizing um the room sizes and why it's beneficial for the rabbits in general and the way he may go about it in a certain way so welcome our new buddy on the channel and guys you'll be seeing him often on this channel we'll be talking a lot more because there are i just got to know that he does a lot of different things all agriculture related welcome my brother thank you thank you so what's your name and what's the name of your company too i'm jonathan jonathan welcome to be precise okay and the name of my company is ogrotech Agrotech. Yes. Okay, Agrotech. What do you do with Agrotech? Actually, the name behind Agrotech is mm -hmm. Organic Growth Technology. So we try to do everything organic. Ah, Organic Growth Technology. Yes. Okay, okay. Everything organic. So, um, what got you into farming uh, in general? Actually, I love animals. Mm -hmm. uh, so I got that love when i saw rabbit the first time okay i saw it in a place that doesn't look nice so i decided to build something nice oh so i started developing the feelings or the, the ideas to create nice cages to mm. keep the animals so that they can be happy okay okay and that brought you to these cages we are seeing right yes. here okay so currently how long have you been doing rabbit farming um roughly let me say 10 years now 10 wow wow so how many rabbits do you have currently per your stock per my stock now i have about uh, 90 including the mothers and the babies 90 yes but the mothers that i'm using here are mm. 13 13 so those are the breeders you these have right now breeders, yes. um so far what's the minimum you have per birth and the maximum you've had so far the, the actually we do it on average basis so mm -hmm. um i the minimum is five okay and the maximum is nine but okay. averagely we got six okay uh, when okay. we are calculating we do it six mm -hmm. per animal okay so you are using the new zealand white or the california which one yeah, i'm using the new zealand white mm -hmm. and then some california bucks okay so i have mixed breed so that breed. I could get the best breed out of my stock. Oh, okay, okay. Show show us around your farm while we ask you some of the questions uh, okay. out here. Okay. So, yes. Um, you can see the cages over here. Yes. When you look at the parameter or the space, it's mm -hmm. very small, small yeah. space. Very small space, but you are, oh my goodness. Uh, what yeah. you've done here is amazing. Uh, and then the cages over here, they are 12 in each. Yeah, we can we can go ahead, but speak louder so that they can hear you. All right, there are twelve rooms in each, and okay. each room is two feet square. Okay, which is the standard measurement for average rabbits. Okay, that we always uh, build here. Okay, and you can see that the mothers are the bees. Okay, the mothers are the bees. Ah, okay. Uh, you keep all the mothers, the mothers at the base. the base. Okay. So, for instance, when you come here, mm -hmm. I've not made each cage okay so we have d1 okay d2 d3 d4 okay for easy record keeping each animal that gives birth mm -hmm. i win the babies to the next two levels oh okay so for instance this mother gave birth to d10 oh okay and this is the next batch 
Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. So it makes it easy to keep your records. And okay. Then know each animal that come from the mother. Ah. So this one advantage of uh, having a cage like this. Okay. Record keeping stuff. It's very important. Yeah. Without record keeping, you may be doing inbreeding, which will be very bad for the animals. When mm. we say inbreeding, inbreeding, what it means is mm. you may be using the same. Um, let me say sister to sister and mm -hmm. you're crossing it because they are from the same mother okay but since you don't keep good record you wouldn't know which one comes from this one or which one comes from another one. Oh, okay uh, okay so normally what we do is once a while at least maybe in a year or two you change your backs okay so those are the males okay you call them backs okay so when you change them you know that the babies that are coming mm -hmm. are not from the same mother because okay. their father is from another place. Oh, okay. And it's very important okay. so that you can have very good animals. Okay. How mm. bad? How bad is inbreeding in rabbitry? It's very bad. Very, very bad. Because what happens is they may litter. When they, we say they litter, they will give birth. Mm -hmm. And then you realize after a week or two, some of them will start dying. Mm. Because they may have some weak genetic traits okay. that follows. So. And then another one is when you are doing inbreeding, since there is a bad or there may be a bad threat mm. from their parent stock and they are giving birth in the same group or in the same family, okay. that bad threat continues. Okay. So okay. they wouldn't have good energy or nutrients. Just like we human beings, you can't marry your sister. So. <laughs> in some tribes they yes. do. <laughs> okay, so these ones are the male, right? This yeah. one is the male. Yeah, male. We call it back back yeah, okay yeah. and this is also a back yeah, right here back, yeah. so how many of the backs do you have um in the farm right now this farm i use only two two These are the two back stars i use oh okay yes. is there a reason why you chose only the two yes um because of my way that i cross i crossed every three weeks okay and then one back can cross about three animals okay at a go okay uh -huh. or if i cross two today mm -hmm. i wait the following day and then i cross another you two you cross another one uh -huh. okay. and i've told you already i have uh, this 12 room set yeah the base here is four models okay we have another four here making okay. eight okay and then another four here okay. making 12. okay uh -huh. so 12 plus another two here mm -hmm. that is 14 mothers okay Okay. Or fourteen do. Okay. Or fourteen breeding so. Okay. Ah, okay. Okay. Right. okay. So when you divide those fourteen into three, that's what how I breed my. I divide them into three. Okay. Uh -huh. So you are going to get around, uh, let me say five, 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 mm -hmm. averagely. Okay. Uh -huh. That's fifteen or so. Yeah. Uh -huh. So five. When I use this back, mm -hmm. I can cross three today. Wait another, I day and then cross another three. Oh, so okay. Six is okay. one. Okay, okay. So I don't need plenty. Plenty. Oh, okay. Packs. Okay. Or okay. they will just be eating my food and wasting the. Ah, food. okay, okay. How old are they? Uh, this one is about a year old. This one is about a year old, yeah. and it's still very strong. Very, very strong. These are the the, the little. So these are the, the kids from it. They are kids. very big. This is they are less than three months. They are about. They are about. Uh, Two and a half months. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. So you yeah. do meat rabbit? Yes, I do meat rabbit. And because of uh, the way I do my breeding, my breeds are also good. Okay. So people also come for breeding stock. Breeding stock uh -huh. from here as well. Okay. Okay. That's really dope. That's really dope. So one thing I noticed right here is this urine, right? And you are collecting it from the. the you build the whole thing in a nice way where you collect everything. You use the. Uh, the, is there something, the system you've built right here, is there a specific reason why you built it this way, collecting the urine and everything? What, what benefits can one get from rabbit farming? Yes, there's a big reason. Um, we did not start like this. Okay. We improve over time okay. based on experience and then um, the advices from customers that buy our cages. Sure. Before, we used to flow the fixes and the urine to the back mm. but that system we realized going to the back of the cage mm. becomes difficult so and then it will be difficult for you to do the cleaning mm. so we just we decided to bring everything forward okay so this one makes it easy for you to collect both the fixes 
and the urine or the poop and the urine. Okay. So when the urine comes into this pipe, it flows to one side. Okay. And then goes into this bucket. Okay. Actually, as I said, my farm is an organic grow farm. Yeah. And we do everything organic. So yeah. The urine also we use it for our vegetable farm. Oh, okay. Uh, so okay. It's very important to us. Yes. There's more on that video later for for organic farm where he has um, is it um. What what is that thing called? We have lettuce, cabbages. Yeah, no, but the the greenhouse, the, the greenhouse, greenhouse system. Yes. Yeah, we'll talk about that later. Yes, let me tell you something. Honestly, your rabbits are. Do people come to you to buy the urine or to buy the feces for using as manure? Aside you having it, and see, right here, one is peeing and it's going right into it. You guys can see it. This is a nice system. Such a nice system. Nothing goes out. Nothing is really going out right here. You just saw it for yourself. Um, look at how big they are. These ones are just three months old. Three months, guys. Three months. And he's using these big bags right here. I will let him take one out so that we have a look at them, like, comprehensively on how everything is right here. So, back to it right now. Right. So, you were telling me, I was asking you if people buy the feces from you or the urine and all from you as well, yeah. aside you using it. No, for now we are not selling because we need it ourselves okay so we process it and then use it on our farm but okay. we tend to sell later when people see the result and the value oh okay in, in this good we call it good the, the good, good yes <laughs> so um in addition this cage cleaning is very easy and mm -hmm. makes it easier what we do when we want to clean it we raise this up okay like this mm. and then we have uh, this small scrubber okay to scrub our... oh okay so you can see okay then we put to it. clean yeah and then uh, so you come working and it's very easy. easy everything is like so simple yes. okay yes. and look how clean it is guys just you can see the difference from this side to that side right now very simple process very simple process okay okay and so the 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 water they drink it's coming from this upper tank right here yes. goes through the the pipe and then to the nipples what if i get a rabbit from a farm that is not used to this how do i get them to learn to drink from the nipples amazingly the rabbits are very good learners and like they are curious okay so as soon as you bring them in they try to look for water okay so just in a day maybe when they are starving of water they sense that there is water flowing in the pipe and then since they are curious they try to check on the nipple okay as soon as they tag the nipple and the water start coming mm. that's it you okay. don't have to teach them anything anything naturally within a day they start drinking their curiosity drinking. will just get them out of the way okay can you please show us one of your bags like take them out so for us to see the effectiveness of the cage how easy to open it how you do everything and all that stuff so um this is the door you can see the way we bang it you don't there is nothing that is going to hurt you yes you can see it's not like any other key that nothing hurts you mm. so you put your hand this is how we, we normally catch our dough. Then okay. you help it a little bit. Oh, wow. You hold it this way. This is big. Yeah. And uh, say hi. Hello. <laughs> this is really big. This is really, yeah, really, really this big. This is my uh, big man. And guys, look, look at the testes right here. The testicles right here. This big man is one year old, right? About a year old. Yes. So how long will it live, for example, to cross uh, on the farm? On this farm, I'm then using it for two years. For two years. Yes. And After then you that, discard it. Yes, I change a new male from another farm. Okay, so when is the right time to actually get a male? Uh, what what age will you suggest that we use them for crossing and for all that stuff? Actually, it depends on the male. Okay. Uh, the result that the male will give out will show when to discard, discard it. Okay. Uh, if after crossing and maybe the babies or the, 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 uh, the mothers are not giving birth very well. Mm -hmm. That means the back may be partially sterilized. Okay. Or maybe the back is not good. Maybe okay. the babies are not big. 
they are small, they die often. That means you have to change their back. It doesn't really matter. But I mean, it's good like this guy. <laughs> then you can use this your guy is very good, I guess. You can use it for about two years. Okay. You can change it. Okay. And at what age should we allow them to start mating with the females? That is seven months. Seven months is yes. like a good, it's a good time. time. Yes. That time, the sperms and everything is very strong. Okay. So you can use it. Wow. Okay. Okay. So currently you have about 90, you said? Yes, in total. In total? Yes. Okay. Wow. This rabbit is big. If, if I want, do you have males on, uh, that are also, let's say, seven months or four months for sale or something like that on this farm? Yes, we, uh, seven months, no. We don't have that, but we have four months. For okay. example, this is four months old. Male? Male. Okay. And it's not yet ready for... But it's not yet ready. You can see the testicles. Oh, okay. It's not developing. Oh, okay. Okay, uh -huh. so this one will be ready in the next two months. Two months. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. That is that is good. And do you have females that are also ready for breeding, or we just have to buy them and wait? You have to buy them and then keep them for some time, because um, one thing about rabbitry, you don't have to keep them more than one after four and five months. They will start fighting. And then since you wouldn't like that, mm -hmm. you have to either sell them as meat okay. before the fifth month or mm. the sixth month. Yeah. Or right, they start fighting. Let me I can give you an example of uh, those these are about they are also about three and a half. Yeah. Getting to the fourth month. Okay. And you can see one is a little head. Okay, on the ears. On the ears. Yeah, the ears. I see it. That means they have started fighting, so I have to separate them okay. so that they wouldn't continue fighting. Yeah, I saw it and I thought maybe it's a tag you did yourself or something, so no, I wanted to ask. It was a fight. Uh -huh. so oh, okay. To... This, this kids here, how old are they? They are very welcoming. They are like very friendly to my camera. They want to come. Hi, hi guys. Say hi to the camera. Yes, yes. How old are these ones now? These are five weeks old. They five are, weeks? Yes, they are ready for winning. For winning, okay. Yes. So I have to winning means I will take them out from, from their, their mothers. From their mothers. Yes. Okay, okay. And the same thing for this one. No, too. these ones are four weeks. Four weeks old. Yes. So for this space you've done here right now, this unique space you have, see, it's very unique. Now, guys, this place is not that big. Like, I'm amazed at what he's done with this side. Now, let me stand somewhere far like this for you to have it at a go. This is just the whole space right here. He has one which takes 12. This one takes 12. That side also takes 12. And then the small unit over there which takes like, let's say, two, 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 six in general over there. And he has fixed it in this small space right here. So imagine you're using this system, you save space. And you can, you can stack it higher. Do you advise that to you? It will be difficult for you to attend to those at the upper side. Okay. So for your convenience, it's best to keep it on a tray level like this. Okay. And okay. then with this small farm like this, mm. it can produce averagely in every two weeks fifteen animals. Every two weeks fifteen yes, animals. Okay. Produce. So if in case you want to go through a very good uh, breeding process. Maybe you want to supply a restaurant or a shop. Mm -hmm. When you have something like this, you can give a shop 15 animals every two weeks. Okay, so then comes my next question, which is marketing. Yes. A lot of people fear the rabbit business and all that stuff. Is rabbit good? Is it lucrative? Is it something one can make money from? You've been doing it for 10 years. You, you should be the right person to tell us right now. Yes, it's very, very lucrative. It's very, very lucrative. You know, you see, when there is when there is something that people are not patronizing, that mm -hmm. is where the advantage is. Okay. Uh, when the thing is not there, mm -hmm. that means there is market for it. Because when people get to know it, they will come for it. Okay. And rabbit meat is one of the best meat among all the meats. Mm. When you have, maybe you are on an operation, eating the meat because of the high protein, mm. it heals you. Mm. Uh, so when you let people know the advantages of the meat, 
it's easy to sell. Mm. And then when you want to sell, don't worry about going to the big restaurant and no. You can start from your family members. Mm. Just start giving some to them. Okay. Instead of them buying the foreign imported dead chickens mm -hmm. or uh, the ones they put in their fridge, this one, they eat it and they feel okay. Okay. So there is no steady market like how you can carry chicken to the market and then go and sell. Mm -hmm. No. But you create the market within your own um, people. Okay. And then it starts to spread. Okay. So about that, um, you are doing meat rabbit. At what age or which month do you say it's ready for sale? At what kilos or something do you really sell them out? Yes. Uh, when I they are matured, you yes. would say. I sell mine exactly four months. Okay. Uh -huh. And some even I sell at three and a half months. That time they've gained two kg. Two kg. Two ki kilo and above. Okay. Uh -huh. For instance, these ones are all two, two kilos. They are ready for meat. Okay. And they are not even up to four, four months yet. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. But they are all ready for sale. Mm. Which can be consumed. Okay. Uh -huh. And then one thing about uh, rabbit pharmacies they keep the rabbit too much okay so the rabbit consumes too much of feed which mm. increases your cost okay. so when you want to sell out there you increase your cost and then it deters the customers oh okay uh, okay yes. so averagely for a four month rabbit how much do you usually sell it on the farm what do you think the right price is per what on you my, do on my farm here yes. i sell it at 50 cities at 50 cities yes. okay and a life week okay yes, okay and, two kilos, that's 50. and how do you feed them grass feed um pellets what do you feed the rabbits for the 10 years what do you think is good for them how do you mix oh. it up and all that stuff that's a good question <laughs> um, actually we've tried grass mm. and then uh, we've tried other pellets and all that but what we've realized is we need the two okay you need the um formulated feed okay the grass okay uh, because there are some nutrients in the grass that is very good for them mm. and at the same time they need the energy from the formulated feed mm. to boost them so what we do at this farm is we ourselves we do our own feed we pellet it we have the pellet machine mm. so we do our own pellet and what we normally use in addition is we add moringa okay to our feed ah. that boosts them because okay. you know moringa is even good for humans uh -huh. it has a whole lot of nutrients Moringa. Yes, Moringa. Do they eat the leaves too? Yes, they eat them. Let me see. I can find some around them. Show you. So two. okay, okay. So whilst he gets some Moringa for us, let's wait and then see. See, it's such a beautiful farm. Uh, I like. It's very calm here. See, if you have this in your backyard, you will feel very, very good doing this type of farm, and it's actually really cool. The 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 whole place is like clean at a glance when you come in you can do everything like once and it feels so good so he's currently here with some moringa plant yeah. that is how it looks like this is the moringa plant they love it very very well wow so, so let's see who is eating moringa who is eating moringa right here yeah they start biting on it you see them right there start chewing on moringa right there very healthy okay okay we see them eating some moringa right there okay that's good and then uh, if you have dandelion too yes you can also give it to them give it to them yes okay. and make sure it's not sprayed okay uh, so normally the reason why i go in for moringa more is like a tree yes so people don't normally spray moringa so mm. it's always safe mm. to use the moringa i mix it with the feed and mm. then pellet it okay so do you also can people buy the pellets from you when you do you do and sell because you are a company fully yeah we do and sell but for now we sell to the farmers around here okay yes, because our production is still low, very low but okay we still increased and then start selling to more farmers okay so guys um right now we've learned a lot from him right here i'm going to end the video on this one i hope you've learned a lot about rabbit farming on his farm very calm farm here right here small space but with a production of about 100 rabbits and from the way you are producing right now you can how many rabbits do you sell in a week if from your production capacity right now how many rabbits can you sell in a week Averagely, i sell about seven in a week about seven in a week so seven if it's 50 uh, for one seven times 50 you can do your math right there and that is something you can do and it's a small space guys 
it's a small space and what he's doing here is really dope the next video we are going to focus more on the cages you see he's going to break it down more the cost involved why you need this type of cages and all that so get in touch in the next video and i'll give you his number also uh, so that you guys will see. i'll put it in the comment section below so you can contact him if you need to buy some rabbits from him if you're a restaurant owner and all that stuff and you need some rabbits from him you can get it right from his farm joe Hello. thank you very much thank you thank bye you bye. thank you bye